Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit special if you can't tell by the fact that I'm on camera. I'm also wearing quite a lot of pink and black. I have my nails done up the same way, and you've already seen the thumbnails, so you know that today I was fortunate enough to receive a very special package from Mattel. It's been a while. I am very excited to have been included in this drop, and today the doll that I will be unboxing I have to clarify, was gifted to me by Mattel. This doll was given to me for free, and we are going to be unboxing her together. So, I don't know, let's just get right into it, you know? So, this box, it was raining when I got home. Um, this package was delivered really early. Usually most of the time when I receive a package from Mattel, it's delivered much later in the day because they use UPS, and UPS for some reason just arrives much later where I live, but um, yeah. It's been raining all day, as I mentioned, and I was at work all day and didn't get to leave until right now, which it's currently like, um, I have a phone. It's 4.50, wow, yeah, it's almost five o'clock. So I was worried about this package all day. I was worried that water might get into it or something, but it seems like the doll was packaged up pretty well and like nothing went wrong. So, all right, we got it open and it's full of pink paper. Lovely, I love this stuff. I love the pink paper. I do dearly enjoy it. So as we open the box, the first thing that appears is one of these sheets that basically just tells me not to show other things in the background, which I just have my Monster High shelves. You guys like this little Frankie? I like this little Frankie. So, <laughs> oh, this box is so cool. I've We've already seen the packaging for this doll. You can probably already tell what it is. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay. All right. We're opening the box. Oh, <laughs> she is stunning. Oh, okay, that slipped right off. <laughs> so I opened it upside down. All the stuff is on this side. So this is how she's meant to be displayed, actually. Oh, the reflection of my camera is quite annoying. Okay, okay. <laughs> I guess I should flip the camera around anyway, because we're going to be focusing on the doll now, so... Let's do that. So here we have the amazing, the gorgeous, the extremely unexpected, if I'm being honest, Freak to Chic Draculaura. This doll is so beautiful. We're just gonna flip the box around real quick to take a look at her face, make sure we got a good one. We did. She just has a small hair on her nose. I think that's in the box. Um, yeah, it's inside the box, but there is a little tiny hair in there. Not a big deal. I'm going to be unboxing this doll anyway, because why wouldn't I? But her box is so much more grandiose than, like, last year's doll. I liked Voltages last year. I did. But I always thought her box was just a bit lackluster in comparison to previous Comic-Con dolls. And this Draculaura delivered exactly what I'm used to from San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. So, let's take a look around her box on this side of the box. Oh, gotta flip it upside down so we can actually read it. Step right up, step right up, you see the amazing Draculaura. And we have a gorgeous illustration done by Darko. She's the daring acrobat. On the back, we have what is probably my favorite illustration of this box. This one is just absolutely stunning. The perspective is incredible. I love the coloring, the lighting. This is my favorite illustration by far. I love it so much. And we have her very cool logo. Whoever designed this logo, is incredibly talented. I just love how all the letters flip to be exactly the same on both sides. I don't remember what's that, what that's called. I want to say anagram, but that's when the letters spell the same thing forward and backwards. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is, technically. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the design. On this side, we have another Darko artwork. This one is also of her. She's just very pretty. Bring, being the latest act in the Freak du Chic makes me feel like a total scare devil. I love sitting on the trapeze, looking down at the crowd before dramatically swinging forward and spinning upside down in the air. The lights... Yeah. Um, the lights dancing off the sparkles of my costume. As I flip into a somersault, the crowd is absolutely dazzled by my bat wings and my clawsome heels that grip the trapeze as I, and I soar. 
I can't read, and I soar like a true creature of the night. I think being an acro bat is better than being a real bat, and I don't think I'll ever come down. This doll has Mattel Creations logos on her because she is going to be sold on Mattel Creations uh, this Friday, actually. So Friday the 21st, the same day that Barbie will be in theaters, this doll will be available for $75 on Mattel Creations. Uh, this, by the way, is kind of just there for show. This doll will not be available in stores. Please don't get confused. So, uh, this thing is pretty cool. It does actually open. There is a little piece of uh, Velcro inside, and we have the Draculaura logo in pink. And on the inside, we have the other ghouls artworks. Okay, it's upside down again. I'm doing that a lot today. <laughs> I am doing that a lot today. And of course, we got Torolai. You know I had to hone in on Torolai. This artwork was also done by Darko. I love it. I'm eating this up. We also have this Frankie artwork that was also done by Darko. Gorgeous. And we have Jennifer over here, also done by Darko. This one's probably my favorite of the group. It's just so beautiful. I do wish that Honey had been included in here, but they did include Goliope. Although, if I'm being honest, this just kind of looks like the stock image of her doll. The inside of the box is really nice. I know my lighting is pretty bad right now. It's, again, it's raining. But, um... Oh, I thought that was a smudge. That's just a piece of her, um, cape. <laughs> I got so worried for a second. I was like, oh my god, that's a massive smudge. It's not. It's not a smudge. This is gorgeous. <laughs> uh, so far, I haven't seen a wonky Freak Do Chic Draculaura, so it looks like they're on top of the quality control. Like, mine looks really good. Like, I genuinely think mine looks really good. And please ignore the thing on her face. <laughs> That wasn't there before. How did that get there? I'm going to get the rest of my Freak Du Chic dolls down so we can do a full comparison in my review of her. Because this is just the unboxing. Like, the actual PR box opening. Sorry, I always split these into two things. I know it's annoying, but it's what I do. But yeah, in short, I think this Draculaura is going to be a lovely addition to the San Diego Comic Con exclusive shelf that I have here. In, in like, theory, I could fit her on the shelf because... She does fit, as you can see. Both edges touch where they need to for her to fit on the shelf. But I don't have anywhere else for these dolls to go. So I think I'm just going to unbox her and fit her on the shelf somewhere. Um, ideally, I would like to hang her. That sounds bad. But by the trapeze that she comes with down up here. It would be nice to display her with that piece. But I don't know where I could attach it to. All I could think would be like maybe like here or something or up here, but I don't know. I don't know how well that would work. I'm just trying to think. I would say one thing to be wary of with this doll is that these little tips of the bat wings are not very sturdy and they do seem to get a little bent. Uh, it happened to both edges of mine, but overall this part of the box does seem pretty like good, although these parts... Now, they're less sharp, so they didn't get as bent up, but it did still kind of happen. Uh, that's just one minor thing. Like, obviously, this is sort of just an outer packaging that you're supposed to open anyway to see the doll in full. But, you know, if you care about stuff like that, it is definitely something to keep an eye out for, I would say. Okay, it stopped raining, so here's a bit of a better look at her in the packaging. Yeah. I love her so much. In my review, I'm going to put her side by side with the G2 doll so we can see what that looks like. But, um, yeah, all in all, I couldn't be happier that this doll was gifted to me. I am unfortunately not able to attend San Diego Comic Con in person, but, you know, I am pretty good at getting the dolls off Mattel Creations, so I don't think I would have not gotten her or anything, but, yeah, it's still amazing to have received this as a gift. I couldn't be happier. This doll is just so pretty in person. I really can't get over it. I love it. <laughs> I That little hair is going to bug me, though. Definitely need to unbox her soon. Well, I think I don't have anything else left to say about the actual unboxing of the doll, so I'm gonna call it here. Stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be unboxing the actual doll. I'm sorry I do it this way, it's more fun for me. So today, you can expect another video from me because I'm definitely going to be unboxing this doll today. I cannot wait until tomorrow. So, once again, thank you to Mattel for sending me this doll for free. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I have to disclose it. It has to be 100% clear. That's how it is. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you in my next video, which will of course be this doll's unboxing and review. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This wouldn't have happened without all of your guys' support. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!